Ephesians chapter 3 verse number 8 Ephesians chapter 3 get ready because I'm going to go through a lot of scriptures within a few minutes Un unto me whom I'm less than the least of all saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ next verse and to make all men see so the mission of preaching is to bring you to a place of revelation to make all men see that's why I'm preaching this morning to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery so there is a fellowship in inside the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ so there's a mystery that has been hid in God from the beginning of the world that mystery has to be revealed so when the baby appeared in the manger the baby was a mystery in the manger they thought they saw a baby in a manger but that baby in the manger was not really a baby they thought they had the cry of a baby in a manger but that was not the cry of a baby because that baby is a mystery which had been hid from when the world began manifesting in a in a covert operation in a covert operation an operation that is not expressed that is not explained but that oppression is concealed in a mystery which will require revelation if you're with me say i hear so that baby was in the manger but that was not a baby that baby was god that baby was god the manger was in carrying the baby the baby was carrying the manger that's why the baby is a mystery in a manger that baby is the pre-incarnate who incarnated that baby is the pre-incarnate who incarnated so that baby was the incarnate one who has his roots in the pre-incarnate meaning that baby predated that event meaning that baby long before the manger has been in operation meaning even when mary was pregnant that baby was carrying mary yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. it's a mystery yes, teaching good yes sir for any christian or any man of god who does not settle down with the holy ghost he won't see these things i'm about to show you all you will be preoccupied with was wise men watching their fields by night angels appear to them cows sheep shepherds manger a little baby that is born angels gifts case closed eyewitness account Jesus is beyond eyewitness accounts teaching good Luke chapter 1 <clears throat> chapter 1 verse 1 pay attention for as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us even as they delivered them unto us even as they delivered them unto us which from the beginning were eyewitnesses so what Luke is saying is the things that we are reporting here and the things we are recording here are things that people who saw with their eye so Matthew Mark Luke and John even though john is in a class and i will explain why but matthew mark luke 
and John recorded eyewitness accounts the record of Matthew Mark Luke and John was an account of what people saw with their physical eyes what they saw with their physical eyes they saw shepherds they saw sheep they saw goats they saw manger they saw Mary they saw Joseph they saw baby they saw offering that's what they saw but because this baby in the manger predated the manger there was more to the baby that the eyes couldn't see henceforth the eyewitness accounts couldn't record okay now why were the gospels written the gospels were written that you may believe that jesus is the son of god that you may believe that jesus is the son of god the son of god question why is jesus called the son of god now jesus is called the son of god by the witness accounts they call him the only begotten son the greek word is the monogenua or the monogenes or the only a kind a type the son of god why did they call him the son of god they call him the son of god now first of all in the gospels they call him the son of man he called himself a son of god they called him the son of man he called himself the son of god why did they call him the son of man it tallies with what they saw at the birth of jesus why did he call himself a son of god he knew better than what they reported they called him the son of man matthew mark luke and john jesus the son of man he called himself the son of god why the son of god is an amalgamation of deity with humanity he called himself son of god because what he was simply saying is i am god who has become a man jesus is god who became a man to save man so the the, the merging the merging of deity with humanity is called son of god uh, the greek word is genomai genomai means god changed shape and location for a purpose that god removed god and squeezed himself in human flesh and changed location and came to another location to operate like the people in that location genomai that's why he's called son of god because he's a major of deity in humanity he is god as though he is not man he is man as though he is not god the greek word is the tentropos tentropos means god man so jesus is god man or god who became man to save man so in that eyewitness account we don't have all the details but we have a few details that they saw and the details they saw was the man's side you will need jesus to help you know that in that man was a god yes sir yes sir so if there was a god in that man then that baby was not really a baby yes, sir. even though that baby was a baby yes, sir. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Yes, sir. that baby was not a baby even though that baby was a baby because he was god as though he was not man and he was man as though he was not god teaching good all right i'm stretching your minds right i'm going to stretch it further so just get ready for it this is a good christmas food what else can you eat on christmas day as well hallelujah well, i thought somebody will shout a living hallelujah. hallelujah i thought somebody will wake up and shout a louder hallelujah. hallelujah okay the word son of man is used 107 times in the old testament 107 times jesus didn't use son of man secondly jesus never called himself son of joseph 
never not once neither in the eyewitness account nor in the revelation he never called himself son of joseph number two jesus never called himself son of david not once it was people that called him son of david he never called himself son of david he called himself son of god and sometimes he called himself son of man they always called him son of man but he called himself son of god and sometimes depending on the circumstances he called himself son of man but he never called himself son of joseph and he never called himself son of david it's people that call him jesus son of david have mercy on me but he never called himself any of the two why i'm, I'm going to show you in a moment jesus beyond eyewitness accounts ezekiel alone used son of man 94 times in numbers 23 they call him son of man in psalm 8 verse 4 he is called man what is man that thou art mindful of that man there in psalm 8 verse 4 is jesus jesus is called man those of you that have been in church you know i did a teaching series on what is man and when i did that teaching i explained to you what man is in scripture all right and in daniel chapter 7 they're talking about jesus he said his kingdom is a kingdom that looks like the son of man he gives it to the saints and they have it forever in daniel's vision he describes the person of jesus the term son of man was also used by daniel to describe the humanity of christ in revelation 1 daniel's prophecy was recalled and in revelation 14 jesus is called in prophecy son of man he is called after his incarnation son of man in the four gospels exclusively jesus used the term son of man for himself which in the greek is man son or like man nine times son of man son of the man in matthew 30 mark 14 luke 25 john 12 john used it differently jesus in his humanity was called son of man he is called son of god because of the major between deity and humanity acts 7 55 to 56 let's see the way stephen used it acts 7 55 but he being full of the holy ghost looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of god and jesus standing on the right hand of god and said behold i see the heavens open and the son of man standing on the right hand of god he saw the son of man so even in heaven after jesus rose and went back to heaven when stephen saw jesus he saw a man standing we have a man like god we have a man like god he saw the son of man because he could identify that this is jesus in his humanity when he saw he saw the son of man so today in heaven there's a man there's a man in heaven on our behalf he's a man meaning he identifies with where we are and what we go through he's a man the man christ jesus teaching good okay there's a man he is a man in the four gospel account therefore we see the humanity of jesus made made make you know expressed in mark 2 27 to 28 is called son of man pointing to his humanity but brother paul now picks it from them and takes it to the next level brother paul changes all the demographics and so we're going to go into brother paul are we ready romans 16 25 
now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel brother paul called the gospel his gospel and the reason why he called it his gospel was because what he's simply saying is that nobody taught me nobody taught me not peter not james who were elders before me none of them taught me what i'm preaching i got it from jesus by revelation because it came to brother paul by revelation he called it my gospel because you see what you receive by revelation becomes your personal property number two revelation is higher than experience experience cannot correct revelation but revelation will correct experience so brother peter sat with jesus ate with jesus slept with jesus and was with jesus most of the times paul never saw jesus one time history tells us that paul never went through jerusalem yet it took brother paul to teach peter jesus why paul saw jesus by revelation peter saw jesus by eyewitness and revelation supersedes eyewitness account so now brother paul says revelation romans 16 according to my gospel and the preaching of jesus christ that word and is which is which is so the gospel of brother paul is the preaching of jesus christ the preaching of brother paul or the gospel of brother paul is the preaching of jesus christ according to the revelation so brother paul preached he preached the message of jesus christ not according to eyewitness account he preached the gospel of christ not according to eyewitness account he preached the gospel of christ according to the revelation so he was not preaching eyewitness account brother paul was preaching revelation the gospel he preached was according to the revelation not according to eyewitness account now nothing is wrong with eyewitness account but it has its function and yet it has this limitation if the only jesus you know came by eyewitness account when pressure comes you will be offended if the only jesus you know is eyewitness account that's why you must know jesus beyond eyewitness account i can show you mark chapter 6 verse 2 kibatana mark chapter 6 verse 2 and when the sabbath day was come he began to teach in the synagogue and many hearing him were astonished saying from whence are this man these things and what wisdom is this which is given unto him that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands is not this the carpenter what is that oh talk to me power city what is that okay the son of mary what is that the brother of james and joseph and of judah and simon what is that and are not his sisters here with us what is that and they were why were they offended eyewitness they were offended when you hear people say since i've been in church i've been a christian god you have never done anything for me do you want me to go and serve satan do you want me to go and join idols you have already gone <laughs> you have already gone to join idols the moment you compare god with idolatry it means you prefer idolatry to god otherwise what's the basis of comparison they were offended and some of us get offended you get offended when you pray and it looks like the thing is not happening you get offended why you don't know jesus the only jesus you know is eyewitness account the only jesus you know is the jesus that gives bread and fish the only jesus you know is a jesus that was born in a manger so you get offended they were offended in him because when they analyzed him their analysis was based on eyewitness account is he not carpenter is he not son of mary are this not his brothers and sisters with us how can he how can he have power to preach this kind of thing is preaching and they were offended now when they got offended in him look at the scriptures put up that match of the six but jesus said unto them a prophet is not without honor but in his own country and among his own king and in his own house next verse and he could dare do no mighty work when the jesus you know is eyewitness is limited to eyewitness you will never experience works of might 
he couldn't do mighty works the eyewitness account of jesus limits your christianity it limits it to natural operation it does not allow you to function in the miraculous it limits you to religion eyewitness account limits you to religion a form of godliness without power oh eyewitness account makes you you only come to church on christmas day because you you want to come and worship baby in a manger because as far as you're concerned he's the savior of the world in a manger you don't know him beyond that you don't need him in your day-to-day -day life because you don't see his relevance in your day-to-day -day life so your 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 knowledge of jesus is limited hence christianity is not sweet in you is that english like that christianity is not sweet in you christianity becomes a burden because as far as you're concerned you don't need jesus for anything uh, but, but so that you are not like a muslim you come to church on christmas day and on easter so that when you say i'm a christian your conscience will be clear at least i go twice a year oh they were offended number two are you here Peter knew Jesus by eyewitness account. Eyewitness account. First of all, Peter says, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Blessed, Jesus said, Blessed are thou, Simon by Jonah. Few minutes after that, Peter said, I don't know him. Eyewitness. When Jesus, you know, is eyewitness account, you will deny him. True when things are not comfortable you will deny him you will be in church on sunday on wednesday you're with native doctor at okanafon because you don't trust that jesus can take care so you have a backup plan you have a backup plan there's one prophet somewhere you keep aside so that when you pray and jesus is too slow you 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 tell jesus while you are walking out let me grab some quick fix you you you, you can't trust him because you don't know him but they that know they are gone they shall be strong no matter the situation they'll be strong and in that situation they will do exploits i'm preaching i'm preaching if you're catching my flow shout i hear i hear school down first we're still going somewhere if the only jesus you know is eyewitness account when the chips are down you will not you will not have faith in him the moment things don't go the way you plan the moment things don't go the way you projected your faith in him is lost because all you know is jesus in a manger so on sunday you are in power city weekdays you are in different places because you are so stupid in your thinking and the reason why i call you stupid is because that's exactly what you are because you think by visiting different shrines and combining concoction from one shrine to another shrine to another shrine then you use god as a plaster on top things will work you are a confused person because you really don't know what you're looking for you will be destroyed in a very smart way because no man can serve two masters no man if you are with god stay with god and if you are with satan stay with satan you can't play double fiddle with your life hey and the reason is simple you don't know jesus the only jesus you know is the story i told before i started preaching the one in the manger and many churches all over the world today that is the story that will be told again so we are breeding religion instead of christianity because christianity is not a religion christianity is a relationship christianity is a relationship christianity is a union with god christianity is an amalgamation of immortality with mortality christianity is a marriage of deity with humanity christianity is a uniting of divinity with mankind if you're catching my flow shout i hear you sit down cross your leg let me push this thing if the only jesus you know is eyewitness account when pressure comes you quit 
and that's why the church must go beyond eyewitness account to revelation the church must john the baptist only knew jesus of eyewitness account this is john the baptist one moment he says behold the lamb of god that taketh away the sins of the world another moment he says because he's in prison because now he's in prison and jesus didn't come to help him you know some of you you have a problem and nobody in the church came to pray for you you leave church you didn't come to church before because if you really came you won't leave because nobody came to pray for you who came to pray for you before you came you don't know god you are not here because somebody brought you you are here because of a relationship and being here has helped you to understand that relationship better that's why you're here now that's not to excuse the fact that people didn't visit you people should have visited you but that is not ultimate i'm teaching right now jesus didn't go to prison to visit this guy john the baptist got angry he said come all my disciples come here you know i told you people that jesus was, was, was the lamb of god i'm doubting it now look all of you i changed my mind and john the baptist was the archbishop of that time he was the big man of god in fact it was john who introduced jesus remember john baptized jesus so john jesus needed john's recommendation and jesus needed john's um, uh, endorsement and approval so the same john who approved jesus endorsed jesus and introduced jesus and made people believe in jesus now turns to tell the disciples go and ask him is he jesus or should we look for another by saying that he has already destroyed the recommendation are we together here it's like somebody i gave somebody later uh he's a staff he has worked in our office uh, anything he requires of you please give it to him he's an excellent staff then you got the recommendation and then you call my office and then i said this is able that i mean how can i do for you do you know this particular staff that used to work in your organization what is his name ah if you want the money of your company to get lost employ him the moment i say that any letter he came with is useless because for all the company knows he could have forged that letter by himself this is john who said behold then john turns to say go and ask him is he the real one or should we look for another eyewitness account the guy is offended john is offended because all he knows is jesus in the flesh when they came jesus now went beyond the flesh he now showed them that i am a mystery in a manger you know what jesus did where are blind people here come blind lame deaf dumb come blind eyes open lame walk deaf ears open go and tell john what you see and what you have heard he used miracles to revalidate himself against the validation of john i have news for somebody in the year to come you will operate in miracles if your amen is louder miracles are happening for you somebody shout i am united with god i operate in the miraculous i didn't hear your amen he just did miracles now by doing miracles what he was telling them is i am bigger than a manger hmm. you remember nicodemus said no man can do these things see these things you're doing none of us can do it meaning you have entered a realm that is not human teaching good okay yes, now so the preaching is according to the revelation of the mystery the revelation of what of the mystery now listen very carefully the old testament is a mystery the new testament is the revelation the new testament is not matthew mark luke and john matthew mark luke and john are not new testament the new testament is asked to revelation because until jesus rose from the dead there was no new testament in matthew jesus said this is the new testament in my blood 
so until the blood was shed there was no new testament in hebrews chapter 9 verse 15 he says for this cause is the mediator of a new testament built on better covenant the next verse he says where a testament is there must also of necessity be the death of the testator for a testament is only of force after men are dead otherwise it is of no strength at all so there was no new testament until jesus died when he rose the new testament came out so the new testament begins from acts of the apostles so that means the new testament is not an eyewitness message the new testament is not a message of eyewitness account the new testament is a message of revelation until your eyes are open you cannot operate new testament level why second corinthians chapter 5 verse 16 teaching good second corinthians 5 16 can everybody read with me very loud let's read it very loud like a christmas choir very loud clean clear one to go wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh yea though we have known christ we have known christ we have known christ where did we know christ after the flesh eyewitness account we have known christ after the flesh we have known christ in the belly of a virgin we have known christ born in a manger we have known christ in the house of joseph and mary we have known christ after the flesh put it back for me we have known christ after the flesh let's go everybody yet now henceforth know we him no more a time must come in your life where you stop knowing jesus after the flesh a time must come in your christian walk where you stop knowing jesus after the flesh look at brother paul he said henceforth what's the meaning of henceforth the power city was the winner of henceforth from today stop knowing jesus after the flesh henceforth know we him no more after the flesh are we ready so should we go further yes, sir. we're not going to get out of flesh are you ready yes, are you ready i'm going to mess up some things now are you ready for us to go out of the flesh if you're ready say i'm ready no worries, it's not going to be long we'll soon be done henceforth know we him no more galatians chapter 1 verse 10 <clears throat> for do i now persuade men or god or do i seek to please men for if i yet please men i should not be the servant of christ next verse but i certify you brethren that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man for i neither received it of man neither was i taught it but by the revelation of jesus christ brother paul is saying everything i preached no eyewitness account all of my messages have put eyewitness account out Paul is saying what I preach has no atom of eyewitness account my messages came out of the revelation of Jesus Kabaya. so if you want to go beyond the flesh if you want to go beyond eyewitness account you have to stay with the epistles the epistles unveil Jesus of the spirit not of the flesh again henceforth know we him no more so brother paul now says since we're not going to know him anymore after the flesh what i preach didn't come from man was not of man i didn't get it from any man it came by revelation so if you too want to stay in revelation stay with what i preach 
so that's why every church he prayed for them that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may have the spirit of wisdom and revelation we are in the knowledge of him wisdom which is revelation we are in the knowledge of him not head knowledge revealed knowledge epignosis accurate exact precise revealed knowledge inside out knowledge not outside in knowledge inside out the eyes of your understanding flooded with light that you may know the hope of your calling that you may know the riches of his inheritance among the saints that you may know the exceeding greatness of his power which he wrought in christ when he raised him from the dead to know this you must know jesus beyond the eyewitness account teaching good i said all of that now to say this if we're going to stay with revelation knowledge then we will have to demystify the mystery and in demystifying the mystery we look at first timothy 3 16. <clears throat> and without controversy touch your neighbor say no controversy the way you're speaking in this church is like you ate a lot of christmas rice this morning touch your neighbor say no controversy and sit down sit down without controversy great is the mysterion that's the greek word for mystery of godliness now we want to deal with the mystery of godliness okay hello the mystery in a manger the mystery of godliness and what i'm teaching now does not have controversy that's to say this is not a matter to quarrel over this is not a matter to argue with this is a settled matter are we together here without controversy somebody shall know controversy great is the mystery of godliness keep it down or great is the mystery of the godhead godliness means the godhead great is the mystery of the godhead Kabaya what is the mystery of the godhead kayana that god is manifest not that god is born eyewitness born revelation manifest eyewitness he was born revelation god manifested or oh god appeared Kayaga. Kimalata. this god that was manifest in the flesh put it back brother this god that was manifest first timothy 3 16 this god that was manifest in the flesh was justified in the spirit so that you know who he's talking about he was justified in the spirit meaning that this god manifest in the flesh is jesus who became seen why he has to be justified is because he became seen that means jesus is god who manifested in the flesh why did he manifest in the flesh to pay our debt what was our debt sin so he himself became sin therefore he needed justification god manifests in the flesh justified in the spirit seen of angels historic seen of angels why is there is because that's historic meaning that was the first day angels saw god the first day angels saw god was when he appeared in that manger that's why angels came in their host that day to worship what they were saying is wow for the first time we see god seen of angels 
remember i told you the difference between the old testament and the new testament one of the fundamental difference is that in the new testament god manifested in the old testament no man saw god did i teach you that yes so that's why it was historic for the angels they came and worshiped because for the first time they are seeing god in the old testament you will hear people like david singing songs like oh lord my god when i in awesome wonder consider all they couldn't see god so they had to see the things he has made so they were looking for god i see the stars they look for god in the stars i hear the rolling thunder they look for god in thunders today we don't look for god in stars and thunders we see god in christ god has become a man oh glory to god but we see jesus so god manifested the eyewitness said god was born revelation said he was not born he was a manifestation so the question is did mary actually give birth to jesus <coughs> by revelation no by our witness account yes but we have just agreed henceforth no we know man after the flesh so question did mary give birth to jesus no what happened jesus used mary to appear jesus used mary to manifest another word hebrews 9 26 let's stay with revelation for then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world but now once in the end of the world have he appeared hebrew calls it appearance timothy brother paul called it manifestation Kabaya. so why do we say that mary didn't give birth to jesus in giving birth a man and a woman must sleep together egg and sperm must meet in jesus's case no sperm no mortal man gave mary sperm number one that is the first thing that makes it not a proper birth or not a natural birth no man gave mary sperm mary even said how shall these things be seen i know not a man meaning this is not natural am i preaching meaning this is not natural then john kebaya you know i excluded john before john didn't give a complete eyewitness account the reason is because john's revelation the writings of john were when john had already come into revelation in fact history tells us that the book of first second and third john which are epistles were written the same week with the gospel of john that's why john 3 16 is the same with first john 3 16 they are the same because they were written at the same time so while matthew mark luke were writing eyewitness account john didn't write complete eyewitness john mixed his own with more revelation how do we know you will not find john saying mary was a virgin standing somewhere and then an angel came and said hail thou mary thou art highly favored oh and joseph saw her pregnant and said i don't know who has given this girl pregnancy i'm going to sack her while he was thinking of sacking her angel came and said jojo jojo don't sack her teaching good <laughs> eyewitness account what happened in john's case john showed up and said in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was god the same was in the beginning with god meaning the pre-incarnate pre-existed before the incarnate meaning the pre-incarnate became the incarnate what he was saying is that a deity took up humanity john says and the word became flesh and dwelt among us so the word was not born the word just became paul says appeared i mean the writer of hebrew says appeared paul said manifest preaching preaching the word became what flesh now let me further establish that what mary did was not a an a natural birth it wasn't really a birth in the natural john that same john chapter 1 verse 13 
everybody read with me very loud clean clear like a mass choir want to go which were born not of blood so jesus didn't take blood for mary the blood of jesus never touched the blood of mary mary was a sinner jesus was sinless there can be no connection between the blood of a sinner and the blood of a righteous person remember when jesus came he was not he has not yet become seen mm -hmm. he was sinless bible says he was tempted in all point yet without sin he was sinless but even though mary was a virgin she was a sinner uh -huh. oh mary was a sinner look at the way you're looking at me mary was a sinner everybody that was born in this world by a man and a woman was born a sinner only jesus came that was not a sinner why natural blood did not touch his blood and somebody says how do you say mary was a sinner oh yes she was i didn't say the bible says it that means if mary didn't get born again and if mary didn't receive jesus she would have gone to hell even though she gave birth to jesus even though she was the one that gave birth to jesus if she did not receive jesus as her lord and savior she would have gone to hell if she had continued talking to jesus like my son she would have gone to hell and you know jesus had to make her know that look i'm not your son no, no, no you know sometimes when people try to to take advantage of you, you have to put them in their place i hope you know that it's not disrespect it's actually respect because if it is disrespect i will leave you to disrespect me and lose your blessing but respect is i will put you in your place so you don't lose your blessing oh somebody said can you prove plenty it's in the bible jesus if mary didn't receive christ she would have gone to hell somebody says but she gave back to him no you are still far from truth how do we know that mary had to be born again is there in the bible but before we even finish mary <laughs> what about judas was judas not used by jesus as a treasurer the person that hold your money must be somebody close to you yes, yet he went to hell he went to hell bible calls him the son of perdition he was lost judas is lost eternally he's lost mary would have if she had continued all that thing she was doing let me show you what she was doing look at your bibles let me show you i'm almost done are you blessed uh, oh open for me put put up for me the book of luke chapter 2 verse 49 luke 2 40 and he said unto them if i go back to 48 when they saw him go back to 47 and all that had him were astonished at his understanding and answers jesus was in the temple teaching and when they saw him his mother they were amazed and his mother said unto him son why has thou thus dealt with us behold thy father and i have sought thee sorrowing and he said unto them how is it that you sought me wisdom not that i must be about my father's business that's you say joseph is not my father i have a father whose business i came to do and it's not joseph first disclaimer hello first disclaimer second disclaimer put it up for me at the mouth of two or three witnesses second disclaimer matthew 12 46 while he had talked to the people behold his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him next then one said unto him behold thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee but he answered and said unto him that told him who is my mother who are my brethren next and he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said behold my mother and my brethren for whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven the same is my brother 
and sister and mother another disclaimer teaching good here look his mother and people are standing there he backed them who is my mother who he's communicating to mary he's telling her madam put yourself where you belong then he now say this one my father my mother my brothers my sisters and he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven meaning my dna didn't come from joseph my dna is connected to my father in heaven if i'm teaching say i hear you finally mary had to receive jesus as a savior how do we know that acts 1 13. acts 1 13. and when they were come in they went up into an upper room where abode both peter and james and john and andrew philip thomas bartholomew matthew james the son of alfred Al and simon zealot and judas the brother of james this all this was when they were fasting and praying for holy ghost before pentecost this all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and mary the mother of jesus and with his brethren meaning both mary and the brothers got born again and they were in the upper room fasting and praying to receive the holy ghost that means on that day when holy ghost now came in this prayer meeting when they started speaking in tongues mary too went around and the brothers were talking now who was the holy ghost inside them jesus i don't know if i'm teaching here the holy ghost that entered them was jesus why because jesus is god in creation he is christ in redemption he is holy ghost in regeneration that's what we call the trinity see for god to create he must be in his office as god for god to save he must remove god and be a man for god to regenerate he must move from man and come as spirit sit down let me explain sit down see for god to create he must stay in his office as god that's why in the old testament you won't see jesus and holy ghost you will see god in god said god said no trinity trinity is a concept of redemption is the fall of man that brought the need for a trinity why because to save man god will have to condescend she no man can save man so god has to become a man so in god becoming a man is called redemption he's called redeemer he's called savior i can't save myself so god became a man to save me that's the love of god that my king should die my death he died i live he took my place i take his place he was rejected i am accepted he went to hell i go to heaven he suffered shame i received glory are we here it's called substitutionary sacrifice now when it has to do with redemption god remove god put on flesh listen if god had come as god nobody can kill god so he has to come in a shape where he can be killed see if god as creator had appeared on earth as god to save man his entrance to earth will pieces the earth this earth is too small to contain god in his full regalia as god i'm teaching here the planet is too small so for god to enter this earth he has to remove god philippians chapter 2 verse 5 push atala push atala push atala kereto kabala kabara let this mind be in you which was also we are in christ jesus who is christ jesus who being in the form of god taught it not robbery to be equal with god that means he is god okay next verse 
but made himself God made himself of no reputation then God took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men because man must save man I'm preaching so in redemption God removed God put on man so that the earth can contain him secondly so that man can kill him so that he can die God doesn't die for God to die God will have to be a man that man that came out of God is called Christ is called Jesus so God is Jesus in human form but as Jesus he can only be in one place at one time he cannot be everywhere because he is in a localized body called human flesh so after he died and rose to save man and to give to man what he has acquired he cannot do it as Christ so when he went back to heaven he now came back as Holy Ghost because as Holy Ghost he can enter everybody at the same time I'm teaching here so in creation he is God in redemption he is Christ in regeneration he is Holy Ghost so on the day of Pentecost when Mary received the Holy Ghost what did she receive Jesus born again. meaning Mary too had to be born again now let me shock you the bigger shocker why do you think Mary is more special than you why do you think Mary I want to steer up some religious demons why do you think that Mary is more special than you hail Mary mother of God who dash at you why do you think Mary is more special than you Mary only carried Jesus for nine months you carry Jesus forever are you not carrying Jesus forever your body is the temple he said I will live in you I will walk in you I will be your God you will be if I'm teaching shout I hear I hear say I house God shout it let the devil bleed I house God say louder let the witches hear you say loudest let the planets hear you say I am the house of God I am the house of prayer for all nations can I get powerful amen, amen. now let me close are you blessed this morning yes. can I sit down let's round up so now the question will be if Mary didn't give birth to Jesus if Jesus just appeared through Mary and manifested through Mary he didn't take blood from Mary he didn't take even his body from Mary yeah. I hope you know that yes, even Jesus's body he didn't take it from Mary he entered Mary with his blood and body so Mary was just like for lack of a good word she was just like a surrogate mother he just used her womb to stay to fulfill them as a human being and walk out <laughs> and somebody said can you prove that he didn't take his body from Mary Hebrews 10 5 Hebrews 10 5 wherefore when he cometh into the world he saith sacrifice and offering that will this not but a body has that prepared me so when he was coming to the world he took the body prepared for him and he entered into Mary with his body with his blood with his DNA which is everything so he took nothing from Mary he only sat in a womb that's why we call him a kind of surrogacy because he just used her womb to stay. That's why when she was busy saying, me and your father, I said, look, you're no father here. My father is in heaven. When they will say your mother, I say, mother, these are my mother's so This one is not my mother. These are my mother. <laughs> Teaching go this morning. Wow. Beyond eyewitness account. So now the question will be, was Jesus born? 
No. Let's write an exam. Was Jesus born? No. 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 Eh? no. How many of you say no? No. So Jesus was not born. No. Okay, how many of you say yes? Jesus was born. Let me see your hands up. Nobody? Nobody? Was born. I There's one. I There's two. No, no, no. Leave eyewitness. <laughs> what I'm saying is beyond eyewitness. Was Jesus born? No, no, no. Beyond eyewitness? Okay, now so beyond eyewitness. We are writing an exam. Yes, sir. Okay. Beyond eyewitness, was Jesus born? No. How many of you say no? Okay, put down your hand. Majority. How many of you say yes? Kalaba. That's one. Who else? That's two. Who else? Mama. Who else? You. Who else? You. Who else? You. Yes, Jesus was born. So the question you should be asking me is where? where? By who? And when? Because he was actually born. But not by Mary. Beyond eyewitness account. Was he born? Yes. Who gave birth to him? Romans chapter 1 verse 1. Let's trace where Jesus was born and who gave birth to him. Glory, glory. Say glory. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God which he had promised afore the gospel of god kepatat i don't have time for these details but just listen carefully the gospel of god that brother paul is talking about here is the gospel which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures where do we find the gospel of god in the holy scriptures where is the holy scriptures genesis to malachi so what does genesis to malachi contain the gospel of god what does the new testament contain the gospel of christ there's a difference between the gospel of god and the gospel of christ find out on sunday let's proceed let's proceed let's proceed concerning hey we are reading epistles now concerning help me his son jesus christ our lord which was made of the seed of david according to the flesh in the epistles he was not born of the seed of david he was made the epistles don't recognize mary and david as the genealogy of jesus the epistles don't that's why they say he was made of the seed of david according to the flesh then pay attention next verse next verse and declared to be the son of god with power in mary's case he was made but he was declared son of god so where did he become son of god son of god with power according to the spirit of holiness where did he become son of god by the resurrection from the dead question when was he born when he rose from the dead who conceived him death so the conception of jesus as a child or as a son was death the birth was resurrection <laughs> mary was appearance actual birth death conception death man i mean birth resurrection how do you prove that everywhere everywhere is quiet now. that's why jesus is called the first begotten from the dead the firstborn so the birth was when he died and rose he's called the prototokos that's the greek word prototokos means prototype model firstborn doesn't mean firstborn secondborn thirdborn that's canal thinking firstborn means prototype or pattern meaning when god wanted to now give birth to a son he didn't use mary 
he used death to conceive the son and use resurrection to give birth to that son as a model a pattern a prototype of the other sons why he had to die to be born because the other sons were in a state of death he didn't come for himself he came for us so he had to identify by dying like we died and rise to open the way for our resurrection mm. hebrews chapter 1 verse 5 hey Hegeba. are you enjoying for unto which of the angels said he at any time thou art my son this day have i begotten thee that means before this day i never begot you this is the first day you were begotten that's why it's called the firstborn the day he was born was the day he rose put it back and again i will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son next verse and again when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world he saith and let all the angels of god worship him when did he bring the first begotten into the world when he rose from the dead when was jesus born the day he rose who conceived him death who who conceived you death you were dead in sins and trespasses and he had quickened the word quicken is made alive so that's why except a man be born again what is born again born again means to be born so if you're not born again you're not born you're just a mere existence your real birth is the day you're born again born again means born anew if you're not born again you are dead and if you are dead that's why mosquito can bite you and you pack up your life has no second hand value this is all of you the moment you die it's over you are lost forever for you to have second hand value you must receive eternal life eternal life is life forever meaning you don't die eternal life means you don't die why he that died died no more eternal life means you have passed from death to life so somebody says what of when i get tired of living here you don't die you sleep unbelievers die believers sleep that's what brother paul said i write unto you concerning those that sleep that you sorrow not like the world mm. why shouldn't we sorrow like the world when a brother sleeps because the brother will wake up do you cry because your wife slept in the night that is why your wife are talking then she just slept then you start crying oh my wife has slept oh my wife no no you don't cry you know that it's just for a few hours when she has rested she will wake up in the morning same thing nobody cries because the baby slept you know that the baby wake up believers don't die believers sleep and they wake up on the resurrection day unbelievers die they don't wake up there's no second value as they die is hellfire but believers we sleep and on the resurrection day we wake up and when we wake up we wake up as if we never slept why on our waking up mortality puts on immortality corruption puts on incorruption we are changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye we are caught up and we meet in the air with jesus and with everybody that we knew that that slept in christ but people that died will not wake up first when we're waking up they won't wake up they are dead and they'll be there then when the great white throne judgment time comes jesus will assemble all of them the me and you will sit on the throne and judge them why will we judge them we preach to them they didn't believe 
so we are the ones that will condemn them to hell that's why today if you're in this building and you're not born again you need to get born again right now not because you're afraid of anything but because it's a better offer for you what is a better offer the good news that jesus has died so you can have life that's a better offer and once you have that life you operate in that life somebody say but i have that life i don't see it manifest you are not taught that's why you must sit down in a church like this and be taught because it is knowledge that powers the manifestation of what you carry you shall know the truth and the knowledge of the truth shall set you free preaching good this morning lift your right hand and shout i have eternal life on my inside now say very loud the life of god lives in me now loud i said with me i reign in life by the resurrection of jesus on my inside now say it louder the power of resurrection dwells in me i am loaded with resurrection power what cannot fight jesus cannot fight me he cannot die i cannot die christ in me the hope of glory i carry on my inside the dna of god the life of god is at work on my inside i am a miracle happening all over the place i thought i will hear a thunderous amen and let me tell you this as i round up this service you have no right i mean you have no right to deny your dna is expression what is the expression of your dna miracles the expression of your dna is miracles why miracles jesus entered the world miracle he died miracle he rose miracle the entire message of christ is a miracle your your your, your new birth is a miracle christ living in you is a miracle you are a miracle you are the embodiment of a miracle and i prophesy from this day you will not be denied miracles if you stand up and shout that amen like thunder you will not be denied miracles 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 I decree and i declare all over this place on this day of christmas as the whole world celebrates the birth of jesus every area of your life where good news has not been celebrated before now as your hands are lifted to receive and your amen is coming like thunder receive miracles receive miracles receive miracles receive miracles anybody here diagnosed by the doctors of a medical condition that is beyond medical science i command that condition to pack out of your body now i command your body be healed body be healed body be healed organs be restored receive creative miracles creative miracles creative miracles receive a new heart receive new skin receive new cells receive new tendons receive new tissues receive new bones in the name of jesus i command high blood pressure crash i rebuke sugar diabetes eye disease i command deafness and dumbness come out in the name of jesus in this building on television on facebook i bind the devil's holes over your life satan lose your holes and come out bodies be healed yokes be destroyed in the name of jesus receive miracles receive miracles receive miracles receive miracles i speak to those of you here whom the devil has harassed with fear harassed you with so much fear every spirit of fear and every hold of fear i command it come out come out come out in the name of jesus that thing that was not working in your body and in your life I command it come alive come alive come alive come alive I speak to every yoke of impossibility stop and I command you receive possibilities the storms of life that has been making noise over you I command the stop stop 
Peace be still. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. All over this building, I declare a release of financial miracles. Financial miracles. I command growth to disappear. Tumors melt out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. In the name of Jesus. Somebody lift your right hand and shout, I am a miracle. Say, I carry miracles on my inside. Now shout it very loud. All things are possible to me right now. Say, in the year to come, I see total possibilities. Throughout the new year, it will be possible in every area. Now say with me, I declare miracles in the new year. I live beyond, above, eyewitness. I'm a miracle in my generation. I thought I would hear a dangerous amen. Well, if you believe that you are that miracle that Jesus has produced on the planet, then clap, jump, rejoice, celebrate Christmas now. No, right now, we have a reason to celebrate Christmas. Agabo Shatalanama somebody shout holy ghost now walk to somebody tell him merry christmas the christ of the mass lives on your inside you're a miracle going somewhere to happen you're a miracle you're a miracle if you're watching on facebook alone shake your facebook shake your device shake your phone if you're watching on tv and you're alone shake your tv set Zegalabadaga, Zegalabadaga. Oh! How many of you can see possibilities? How many of you can see creative things? 2018, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. It will be glory to glory. Miracles upon miracles. If your amen is louder, receive manifest. says but this is 2017 no you are mistaken this is 2018 there is no day there is no time there is no month every day is the new year you declare before you declare 2018 you will build your house you will buy that land you will build that business you will expand that business you will open branches some of you looking at me five streams of income some of you 20 streams of income some of you 14 streams of income you will have different businesses bringing different monies if your amen is louder receive destiny help us receive investors fresh investors new investors if your amen is louder receive it by grace you'll be sleeping people will come and wake you up and say here is 10 million what do you want investment for people will bring money to you for investment people will bring things to you there are some of you hearing the sound of my voice you will drive cars you didn't buy some of you in this Uyo, somebody will give you a finished furnished house as a gift for the new year. If there's a man to believe, there's a God to perform. Unto she that believeth, there shall be a performance. I don't know who I'm talking to here, but things are shifting. Things are shaking by you. Hey! Somebody shout Holy Ghost! Somebody shout holy, 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 holy ghost. Yeah. Somebody will just look at you and say, I like you. What do you do? You say business. Take five million, put inside. If there's a man to believe, there's a God to perform. Somebody will look at you and say, take a car, just take a car. Ay, 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 ay. 
some politician some businessman some business mongoo will just like your face and change your life if your amen is louder receive miracles let me tell you a story as I close honey you know the story so a friend of mine has started a church for so many years ago in South Africa somewhere I helped him start the church preach for him encourage him he was afraid I told him don't be afraid start huh? if you will start one day start now we're here to help you so we started that church together preach for him did help him a lot then I left and then we parted ways we've not spoken for years he's been busy I've been busy few two months ago so I was preaching somewhere in Nigeria somebody said to me are you aware that this guy has blown he has exploded I said yes I'm aware I know everything he said look the guy is big let me call him so he called him he said let me surprise him then he said girls who are about to speak with he called me the names he said no it's okay just hold on so he gave me the phone and I called the guy's name he screamed Dr. Damina I said yes how have you been he said look man man every prophecy you gave me every word you spoke over me not one has fallen all has happened he said as you're speaking to your brother now you're speaking to a multi-millionaire then i now said to him talk to me he said dr damina first of all church is doing we have exploded number two just few weeks ago a woman came to our country we met in a shopping mall she saw me said are you not the preacher on television i said i'm the one he said your ministry has blessed me can i have the phone number to your church i want to visit you on sunday so he gave her his phone number sunday she didn't come to service tuesday she now calls him sorry we couldn't make it to service we don't live in south africa we live in ghana i just came to south africa for business and every time i come i watch you on tv you see and i was happy to see you but i'm sorry i couldn't make it to your church please text me your bank account number i have something small something small I want to put something small something small you will somebody will give you something small like this wait to so something small so quickly he takes his bank account number two days after that his bank manager said called him where are you pastor come to the bank what for come come you're needed here so he says he arrived at the bank the bank manager came out for the first time to the out to the door oh welcome pastor we've been waiting for you bless you pastor please come in please come the manager himself come in sit down do you want tea or coffee or what do you want he said i don't want anything tell me why you're looking for me he said relax pastor there's no wahala you want tea or coffee what do you want he said i say i don't want anything just tell me what you have sent for me for he said actually yesterday a deposit hit your account and the security agency in the country wants to know the source of that money because of the volume he said what volume five million us dollars five what million us dollars where is it coming from he said from ghana then he remembered that woman who wants to send something small so he said yeah i know where it is coming from it's one of my partners in the ministry who supports our, our programs here who send the money for evangelism so the guy said ah, pastor you know it has to stay in this bank <laughs> it has to stay here i will reply the security and tell them where the money is coming from pastor you know we, we we thank you for your continuous patronage and they started they started doing good good things so when he told me the story i said whoa and i told him that is just the beginning yes, that is just the beginning the beginning <laughs> so so you didn't hear me i didn't say anything <laughs> so he now said to me text me your own account i said more he said yes i said it is already coming Bam. Um, the tea has entered sharp sharp we are still talking the account has entered he said okay i've seen the account number he said now listen dr damina in a few minutes you will get an alert once you get the alert call me i have something to tell you i don't want to tell you what i'm doing because we don't know who is tapping the phones so bam the alert hit mama called me i said honey 
where's the money there's some serious money that just came here where's the car i said don't worry i was just waiting for the terminal so i called him i said it has come it has come it has come he said dr damina you carry a dangerous grace why i send the money is because i want to buy a shopping mall i want you to pray for me that's why i gave you that money so you pray for me so that that mall will become a reality I told him close your eyes. Kimana, pulu to pulu, juju puluta, puluta puluta, gerena kata. 2018, somebody will send you something small like this. Are you here? Now that's not the end of the story. The following week. He called me, Dr. Damina, where are you? I said, I'm in New York. You are dangerous. I said, what happened? He said, you know, after that money, another one has hit my account. We are buying the mall. We are buying the mall. Dr. Damina, it only took one week. I told you you are dangerous. I said to him, send another one, send another one. <laughs> send another one. Geba no gaba. As you stand under the unction of this anointing, wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, I said, receive financial miracles. Receive financial favors. Receive supernatural visitations. Receive supernatural help. Receive supernatural help. Receive investors. Destiny helpers. Vision interpreters. Where it was tough, it shall be soft. We break the ground for your sake. We shift things around. Doors that were closed are open. Barriers are terminated. Receive favor like rain. 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 Wherever money is hiding, you will locate it. Wherever money is hiding, you will locate it. Receive access by grace. Receive access by grace. Treasures of dark places. Wealth of hidden places. Access it in the name of Jesus. You are blessed beyond the cost. Struggle stop. Your days of struggles are over. Struggles end. The day Jesus came, humanity was free from suffering. Today, as we celebrate that day of his birth and that day of his arrival, as we declare it today, wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, it is the end of frustration in your life, the end of suffering in your life, the beginning of good news, the beginning of good news, the beginning of better news, the beginning of a more excellent news the beginning of greater news celebration on every side you will never be ashamed you will never be ashamed in jesus precious name can i hear that amen on a note of final letter are you blessed if you're blessed shout blessed get out a good offering let's celebrate let's celebrate what the lord has done let's celebrate this good word we're taking only one offering so get out the offering that you prepared for this service the wise men when they came to see jesus they brought frankincense gold and myrrh they put their hand in their treasure and brought out substance i'd like you to bring out substance in faith let's celebrate the great things god has done glory to god are you excited in this service are you excited are you excited i went to a church in ghana the pastor will say are you excited the members will shout we are excited <laughs> not excited excited my goodness that church is full of drama honey when the pastor is happy before he calls me to preach after the first day i preach joy entered the church they enjoyed the word the next day they say let us do some press up for god let us do some press up it's not a small boy it's an elderly man when he said let us do some press up members started coming members all of them started doing like this then they played a press up song for them and then they now knelt down 
then they now laid down and started doing press up with the song many of them in fact ns filmed it ns filmed it then when they finished they now let sisters come and do their own press up so sisters came out they lay on the floor they, they started i've not seen that kind of job before they were so excited they went even they said are you excited everybody said we are excited <laughs> You can see joy in the house. Amen. Are you excited? We bring out your offerings. I'm sure they may be watching us right now. Lift up your offerings. <laughs> Glory! Father, we rejoice. We rejoice. We rejoice. We rejoice. We are not like the world that are hopeless. We are begotten to a lively hope. And we rejoice because in our heart is the hope of glory. And as we give, we give with joy. Thank you for great things ahead of us. Thank you for every blessing that you have blessed us with. Thank you for every grace that has abounded towards us. We give you praise and glory. And as we give and rejoice and sing and worship you, our praise and our offerings rise up a sweet smell before you today. In Jesus' precious name. And every believer says, Amen. Like thunder.